Okay, we're here with King Philip coach Lauren Farkash, um, whose team just competed in the Hockamock League uh, meet with Attleboro, just losing by four points, but, but your girls put up a good fight. Uh, talk about the effort of the girls today. Sure, they ran really well. We had a couple, um, you know, a couple unfortunate circumstances. Our number one my runner, Maya, lost her shoe within the first half mile, so she ran that whole race with one shoe on, one shoe off. And our number three runner was out today on a pending COVID test, having been out of state this weekend. So she's fine, she's healthy, but we need to keep her away from us till she tests negative on that. So we lost number three. So our eight girl came up and ran for us in the top seven and did great. We've got a young, tight pack. So they ran really well. So, so, so coming in, did you uh, kind of sense it would be a close meet? Like we knew, we knew that they had the strong top three and that we would have to at least break up the top three, if not uh, with my top two, with my top three. So we were only able to crack, uh, crack one of them with Maya. We really needed to have Maya and Ava up there. We weren't able to get there today. So we knew it would be very close, much like last week with Milford. We were, we tied, we were super close, so. So, so coming into this season, what were you looking to achieve out of this group? So with this group, I knew we were in a building year um, and that we have just the Hawk League, some really tough competition. So, and with COVID, I changed my focus and I just wanted to give them an experience of some sense of normalcy to get them out here racing, having a good time, being together. And then PRs and wins are a bonus. Um, so I think they're just really happy to be here. So I think so far we're successful. We're here, we're yeah, competing. So far, so good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, how many did you lose from last year? Uh, I lost, uh, from my top seven, I lost three. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's so, a big chunk. Yeah. Um, how many years have you been coaching? This is my fifth year. Fifth year. Yeah. Um, could you ever imagine a season like this with COVID? Here? No, not at all. Not at all. It's, uh, it's, you know, we're just going day by day. That's all you can do. So I think considering, you know, having to wear a mask, having to socially distance, run them separately, I think they're all doing great. Not one complaint ever. I really am proud of them. You know, I, I've been doing some workouts with them and I cannot stand to have this thing on my face. And they do it all the time and they, not a peep. Yeah, so I agree. They're I'm definitely, really proud of them. They're yeah. definitely handling it very well. Yeah. Um, well, Coach, uh, thanks for talking with us. Absolutely. And uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank thanks you so much. Thank you.